Hello Android users, today I'd like to tell you about a controversial new performance enhancing app for your Android device. You must be rooted in order to use this. Come check it out here in the XDA Developers Forum. This was posted by senior member LambGX02. Big thanks to him for providing this. Now this is a little controversial, I'll show you how to install this. It recently just came out of alpha stage and is version 1.1. It may be a newer version when you're downloading it. Check it here to check it out. I'll show you how to download and install it first and we'll talk about it a little more. So click the link, it'll go to your download folder. And it'll show up here and you can click it or you can also navigate to it with it using a free file explorer program like the ES File Explorer and you'll find it in the download folder. Or you can simply click it here and you'll start it up. Install. Open it up and we'll need to give it super user permission. So we'll need to allow this and then we'll want to enable it here. And we can also click here to select it automatically starting up. Otherwise, we'll need to start it up each time we reboot our device. Now I've found this does have a small performance improvement. Uh, it's a little better on memory. Downside is there's a little bit of a higher battery drain as some users have reported. Now you can check it out here in the Google Play Store. You can get it in the XDA Developers Forum, but I would recommend getting it here to support our developers. And it'll keep you up to date. It'll download automatically for updates. So in a nutshell, our Android device requires random data. And it keeps taking this random data until it runs out and we experience lag as it regenerates the random data. Now the theory is that this will help us manage load significantly faster applications that are cumbersome like YouTube, Facebook, Chrome, and it helps us to switch from application to application a little quicker they say, like for instance moving around like so. It does seem to be pretty spiffy and this does seem to be the main improvement that I've noticed, although there is a slight performance improvement that you can measure using benchmarks. Now it's been a little controversial whether or not uh, this has an effect or not or whether or not it kind of works. It seems to. Uh, there's been very kind of mixed reports. Uh, this may be partially because uh, this is maybe more effective on older devices. So Google has been doing a great job updating Android 4.0 Plus, Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean. Uh, but this may work better if you have an older gingerbread based device and so it's highly recommended for those older device users to try this and see if it spiffs up performance at all. But as anything experimental you may wish to make a backup, an Android backup, I've got a video on that explaining how to do that if you wish to test experimental things like this. Please note that the battery drain is increased a little bit. I'd highly recommend coming down here to the XDA developers forum and checking out what everyone has to say about it. There's a lot of talk and controversy over it. But it does seem to work for me. So I'm going to say go ahead and try it out. If you're feeling a little daring and you want to see if your device can run faster, especially an older device running gingerbread. Anyways, please subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching.